Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and today's video is brought to you by Jackfruit Company, these guys. I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious and tasty vegetarian jackfruit-based tamale pie. It's pretty easy and it's just amazing. I think that you're gonna love it. Plus, it's hashtag whole food plant-based, so let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our enchilada filling, per se. So we're making a tamale pie, and that tamale pie is gonna be a cornbread crust, so that's gonna be the bottom part of it, and then it's gonna have the jackfruit and some enchilada sauce over the top of it, and then we're gonna to top it all off with cheese and sour cream, and it's just gonna be amazing. So the first thing we're gonna do is make that filling. Start off by adding some olive oil to our skillet. We're just gonna warm that over a medium low heat. So one of the great things about jackfruit is if you're trying to eat healthy and you're trying to eat more plant-based, there's a lot more options these days. I say that as someone who's been a vegetarian since like 1986. It's a lot easier now. You have the Impossible Burger, you have the Beyond Burger, and those are, you know, great options for people that are trying to eat, you know, plant-based, but they're not necessarily healthy. The thing that's amazing about jackfruit in comparison to, say, the Impossible Burger and the Beyond Burger, in my opinion, is that jackfruit is not plant-based, it's just plant. It's just fruit, right? It's just a fruit that's been shredded and seasoned and flavored however you like it. It's completely 100% plant. There's no preservatives. It's not grown in a laboratory like the Impossible Burger. Um, so if you really are trying to eat healthy and be eco-friendly in what you're doing, you want, I think the jackfruit's a great opportunity for that because it not only, like I said, is just plant, there's no preservatives, you're just eating a straight up fruit. Okay, so I've added uh, some mirepoix to the oil now that it's warmed up. Uh, mirepoix is a ratio, two parts onion, one part celery, one part uh, carrot. And I'm just sauteing that in the olive oil just until the onions become kind of nice and tender and sweat and uh, the celery and the carrots start to soften a little bit. Go ahead and saute that in my skillet. While that's cooking, you might ask, hey, how did the Jackfruit Company come to play? So the founder, Annie, had like traveled to India and discovered that there's all this jackfruit that really wasn't being used, right? It wasn't, it's sort of kind of going to waste and saw it as an opportunity to sort of prevent that waste, that food waste, because the jackfruit wasn't being consumed, but also as an opportunity to have the money from selling that product go directly to the farmers that grow those uh, jackfruit. So, you know, a lot of times when you're buying a product, you know, the money, the way it trickles down to the farmer is very, um, not a lot of it does. <laughs> so the thing that's great about the jackfruit company is that money is a direct stream to the farmer in many ways because it's not grown in a laboratory like the Impossible Burger, it's just straight up plant, right? It's just a fruit. So, um, you know, instead of wasting that jackfruit, Annie was able to work with these farmers to produce a product that, you know, has very, very, very little processing. It's just the fruit, maybe some seasoning or flavoring, but not a whole lot else. So it's much more of a direct route from that purchase to the farmer. Okay, so my onions and carrots are all nicely sauteed. I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic, and I'm sauteing that right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in the taco seasoning. Mix it in to get everything nicely coated. It smells so good, I can smell that cumin. Oh, I just love that flavor and that aroma. Saute that just for a little bit. I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt too. So the thing that's really wonderful about this product, at least for me, so I focus a lot on sustainable cooking. I do, as I said, I've been a vegetarian since 1986. I do a lot of vegetarian and vegan food. And a lot of that comes from not only animal rights, but also sustainability. So the thing that's really wonderful about the jackfruit product in general is that, you know, one, it's sort of helping that fruit meet its potential, right? There was a lot of it kind of going to waste when that she saw in India, but also helps the farmers kind of, as I mentioned, you know, that money trickles down to them kind of helps, you know, their livelihood, right? And then on top of that, just from like an eco standpoint, uh, it's a fruit, it's a giant fruit, right? So if you're really trying to eat plant-based, you know, want to avoid meat products because of the footprint that they have on our planet, this is a really planet-friendly way that's not filled with, you know, 
preservatives, it's not overly worked, it's not grown in a laboratory, it's just healthy, healthy fruit. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in the jackfruit. The thing that's wonderful about jackfruit too, like there was a survey recently that came out that said, you know, most of the people who are consuming um, the Impossible Burger is mostly meat eaters, which, hey, that's good. I think it's wonderful that we're getting more people who eat meat to not eat meat, you know, to eat things that are sort of meat-like. Um, the thing that's wonderful about the jackfruit is that like it works well for both meat eaters and non-meat eaters. Like I don't enjoy the possible burger because it tastes like meat and I don't like the taste of meat. With jackfruit, you can kind of flavor it and season it any way you want, but because of just the natural anatomy of the fruit, it sort of has this kind of shredded pork type texture to it. So you can make it work in a sort of meaty way if you're a meat eater or you can make it work in a vegetarian vegan way if you're not. So it's a lot more versatile in my opinion um, and you know, flavorful. So I've added my jackfruit. Just gonna stir that in a little bit. Like I said, it looks like, looks like meat, right? <laughs> at first I was like, am I being lied to? Like I didn't trust it at first, you know? <laughs> Had to Google a little bit. Now I'm gonna add in my enchilada sauce. I'm just gonna Make sure everything, all the carrots, onions, celery, all the jackfruit is completely covered and coated in the enchilada sauce. And then I'm just gonna cook that for a few minutes. And then we're gonna take that and transfer it out of the pan. And then we're gonna make some skillet cornbread. So we cooked the mirepoix and all that seasoning and the jackfruit and the enchilada sauce together. Taking that out, just kind of set it aside for right now. We're gonna make our cornbread mixture and then we're gonna cook the cornbread in the skillet. So it's all kind of like a one pan type thing. So I just have some box uh, cornbread mixture. Go ahead and add my egg. Okay, so I'm just gonna add in some melted butter. And now a little bit of Greek yogurt. Okay, so just mixing all the ingredients together, the egg and the mixture and the melted butter and the Greek yogurt. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some corn kernels. So the reason I mix them up separately is it's a little easier to whisk everything together, the dry ingredients, the egg, and get that all nice and consistent and then fold in the corn afterwards. So just go ahead and add in my corn kernels and then just fold those in. There we go. So as I mentioned, this is a one skillet recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and use the same skillet we were using before. I'm gonna transfer this cornbread mixture to that skillet lay it all out and then bake it at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes just until it's a nice golden brown. We're gonna use our skillet. We're just gonna prep it by spraying it with some cooking spray. It's getting nice and covered there. Okay, so we're gonna transfer our cornbread mixture to our skillet. Let's get it all in there. And just take a spatula and you just wanna make sure that it's all nice and level and it gets all the way to the edge. Just kinda of keep working that around so all the cornbread mixture is spread out evenly. Okay, so we're gonna bake this for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees until it's nice and golden brown. Okay, so our cornbread has finished baking. Just something I wanna point out, I used an oven safe skillet, so please make sure that you're gonna use an oven safe skillet when you do this recipe, because if you don't use an oven safe skillet, it'll probably melt. <laughs> So you don't want that to happen. Um, but I use an oven safe one. Uh, so I'm gonna take the end of a wooden spoon and I'm gonna poke holes all throughout the cornbread. And I'm gonna do this because when I add in that tasty enchilada jackfruit mixture, it'll kind of seep into the cornbread, kind of like a poke cake. So I'm just gonna go ahead and poke a few holes kind of around the perimeter of the cornbread. And just gonna do a few more. Not have to be perfect or anything. There we go, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, jackfruit enchilada mixture on top. Go ahead and add that. Okay, just gonna keep adding on that jackfruit mixture. So just evenly spread out the jackfruit mixture so you completely cover the top of the cornbread. It's delicious. It smells yummy. Love tamales. So now we're gonna top off the jackfruit mixture with some shredded cheese. You can use whatever your favorite blend is. I'm just kind of using a basic uh, Mexican blend here. And then just make sure it gets all the way over to the edges, just like you did with the jackfruit and the 
cornbread mixture. Get that all in. So now we're gonna put this back in the oven for at, keeping it at 400 degrees. Put it back in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until that cheese is completely melted on top and it's warm all the way through. Okay, so the cheese is all melted. It smells amazing in here right now. Like the parts of those cheese that I kind of got fried against the cast iron skillet, it's just, you can just smell that deliciousness. This jackfruit tamale pie is gonna be great. We have a few more things to add, but I just wanna say one more thing. Check out jackfruit from the Jackfruit Company. They have a variety of flavors. So like whatever, you know, if you don't wanna make an enchilada jackfruit, they have stuff that's all pre-flavored so you can just kind of pretty much chop it up and go. Uh, delicious and tasty. Uh, the thing that I really like about jackfruit, just one more time, is, you know, if you're trying to eat healthy and you wanna eat plant-based, then jackfruit's great. The Beyond Burger and Impossible Burger, they serve a purpose, but they're filled with a lot of preservatives. So this is sort of, you know, hashtag whole food plant-based. Check out the jackfruit uh, company. I think you'll find something that you like. So we're gonna just top this off with some sour cream and some chopped cilantro, and then we're ready to dive in. So let's go ahead and get that in there. And get my cilantro, make sure it's all evenly covered. Okay, there you go. Delicious, tasty tamale pie. I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little bit of a taste. It's really piping hot. But it's so good. Mm. That jackfruit, that enchilada sauce, that cornbread. Check out this recipe, give it a try, let me know what you think. Check out the jackfruit company. Once again, these guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like to cook like I do, I release new videos every single week, so please subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna see, hey, drop a comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. So the first thing we're gonna make is the un <laughs> no, not <making> <laughs> right not making. <laughs>